Um, I'm actually going to try to put this together quick while he runs on the treadmill. Okay, so the assembly for this thing looks relatively easy. You take the legs and you set them out like this. This is the all flat section. That's the ground contact section. This part right here pivots up and gives you like your A-frame. This right here is both a leg section. This is a leg section. And then this right here, this orange part, flips up that way and gives you your target. So. I'm going to go ahead, you take these black knobs off right down here, and you um, then screw this onto there. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll show you guys as I'm doing it, and then uh, we'll continue on. Okay, so I've got the A-frame part on. Uh, you can see it's just held on by these two nuts here. Um, this folded up and attached to here. So far, everything is really easy to put together, uh, very well machined. Now what's going to happen is this is going to flip up here, and then I'm going to put these brackets on there. So I'm going to go ahead and engage time lapse. Okay, so that literally took like two seconds to flip it up and put these brackets on to keep it upright. The beast of the thing is this right here, and this is the armor plate steel. I believe it's AR-400. Um, this is what you're shooting against. So, this is just going to hang up here. I'm going to have Homestead Boy 1 uh, try to help me get it up here. Um, you want to grab the bottom one? And it just hangs on to these brackets. Oop, hold on. It goes like that. Oh, maybe I have to do them on at the same time. I think maybe the bottom needs to go on first. Seem right. This is not hanging up there. Well, I gotta figure this out because so it looks right, but the problem is so you can see right here, it's not all the way down on that slot. So if something were to hit it, it could fall off that way. It is down on this slot, so let me look at the uh, instructions. I can't think of anything else that would change, but let me see. So I figured it out. Um, it was leaning a little bit back, like this, so it wasn't fully engaged. But this right here, the side plate, I show you, see how that slides down over the top? It slides over the bottom here and the top here, and when it slides over the top here, it comes down like that and it stops this from coming over so and then it's hooked in here like this so now it's all put together except i have got to put in the bottom tray right here and we're good to go um, the only other thing about this is so they sell a um, dampening pad it's a sound dampening pad um, it's a thick piece of high density rubber that just goes on the back right here and it, instead of making a ping every time you hit it with a bullet um, it just kind of makes a pink pink and instead of having like buying it and shipping it I have an extra horse mat or horse stall mat that I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut a piece out find a way to hang it on here and that'll do the same thing so let me get the tray put in and then I'll put it together okay it literally took 15 minutes to put together I've had it sitting over there in a box for months this is the most ridiculous thing ever I should have put it together and been using it all summer long. I mean, I could have been using it for 10 minutes a day, five minutes a day. Um, so the tray right here just slides in through, and then there's actually, let me show you underneath here, there's a uh, removal, so you can pull this door over, brush all the lead out, 
and you know put a bucket underneath it and catch the lead. I'm gonna put this side back on, but then it's ready to go. And then all you have to do is every so often um, cut some more plywood to go in here and you're good to go. So I can staple, this is just um, MDF, no not MDF, um, strand board or an OSB. So I can buy a cheap piece, cut five or six, I forget how many you can get, six pieces out of one sheet of 4x8 um, OSB and paint it whatever I want or don't paint it at all and then um, staple my targets onto it and it's good to go. It'll shoot any handgun caliber up to I think 44 Magnum. I think uh, what they say is you're not supposed to shoot anything over 500 foot pounds of force. Um, I think it'll even take 22 rifle I know it'll do 22 pistol. I think it'll even do 22 rifle. So, um, yeah, pretty sweet. I'm pretty stoked that it took. I'm pretty upset with myself. But if you have any questions about how to put it together, let me know. I will obviously be doing some videos about shooting with it, but I'm pretty stoked about this. Like I said um, in a bit different video, if you didn't see that one, my plan is I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it on top of a pallet, and then I'll be able to use the tractor with the pallet forks on it. And I can take it in and out whenever I want. I can just go take it out and shoot for a little bit, bring it back in. It's powder coated, so it should be fine to be left outside, but it'll just last longer. So, uh, This is the Acreage Bullet Catch by Aachen. It's the G2 version. It's the AR400 plate steel. Um, they do have one, I think that's AR500 steel, that you can actually use with um, 5.56 and 2.23 AR rounds. So, pretty sweet. Honestly, if you're thinking about it at all, literally this took, if I had not been filming it, it would have taken 10 minutes. It took 15 minutes with filming. It's, it was that easy to put together. It was really, really simple. Okay guys, I got the bullet catch mounted to the pallet. I took one of the bigger, heavier pallets that I had. Um, and what I did was, I just used some, let me show you. I used some washers here and a screw. And then I put some locking underneath just so that the screws had something to bite into. Um, otherwise this thing is pretty top heavy. So with the pallet being pretty heavy, it should at least balance it out a little bit. Um, I'm hoping that I can adjust the forks on the tractor such that it's easy to move around. We'll see. If I have to adjust it a little bit, I will. But the plan is right now to load it this way. So like the front of the tractor, this would be facing the front of the tractor. Um, so yeah, so it works out great. Um, or it should work out great. I haven't taken it out to shoot yet. Can't wait to do that. I'll be doing videos of that. If you just found the channel, go ahead and click on that subscribe button, click on the thumbs up, and go ahead and comment. I really appreciate all those things. It helps out the channel a great deal, and it'll keep me doing more videos like this. So thanks so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video.